be very good sound. Чашка чая, чай, 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 чай. And uh, check the uh, conduction of the sound to the surface. The, the sound will, should be equal on both parts. Ask the patient, who read чашка чая and put one in the scope. Чашка чая, чашка чая, чашка чая, чашка чая. И дальше пошли по тех самых. What's that for? The same pain points. What's that for? Because the light should be straight and the arms crossed on the chest, no, no, тут як вам зручно, тому що ви погано не видите. Значить, це пропіш. Випрямлені. А коли барбейшен оф лівер, тоді слайдли бендит. Superficial palpation. Just touch to the abdominal wall in all the regions and assess. First, you have to assess presence of pain. Second, you have to assess consistency of abdominal wall. Is it elastic or hard? When it's hard, it's pathological. Your report will be the but superficial palpation of abdomen is not painful, abdominal wall is mild elastic consistence. No any protrusions, masses are felt during palpation. Checking cough, shock and liver symptom is, should be negative. So you press and withdraw hand in some areas. When patient has peritoneal irritation, it will be painful. Then there will be tasks separately. Palpation of sigmoid at this time, or palpation of sickle, palpation of ascending or descending, should be done. And terminal part of filium toshiki. That is palpation in all when you palpate all this part of intestine, you have to show four moments of deep sliding palpation. Please train again because students they are afraid to penetrate inside. They can try to. To provide superficial palpation instead of deep sliding. But it's sigmoid intestine is located in the left cubital region. Mm -hmm. The span of the organ is oblique, so you have to put fingers perpendicular to it. Second moment, you have to make skin fold inside. Then during deep expiration, you have to penetrate and then slide. Ras Поставили руки. The palm is on the abdominal wall, not like that. Fingers not like that, but slightly bended. Раз, два, три, чотири. Раз, два. Можете так от потім робити, не виринати, а слайд across the organ. And assess qualities. Qualities are described in the book. What should you find? So it's not pain. Uh, smooth surface, так, mild elastic consistence, and diameter you can determine. Mob mobility, sigmoid is mobile, так. Mm -hmm. Then, sikkim. Sikkim is palpation, uh, palpated along the line which connect navel with uh, spina iliaca superior and okay. uh, Along this line, you have to put your fingers along it, make skin fold upward, medially, and slide. Значит, пробуйте skin fold, тоді занурюєтеся and slide. So you can feel rumblings during the procedure, as I can do now. Чуєте, що бурчить вас там? Значит, rumbling sounds in this region is normal. In sigmoid it's pathological. It's just about irritation. Again, along this line, put the fingers between the external and medial parts of this line, masking for medially, penetrate and slide. Так, трошки є ногті, я через це не хочу так. Then, terminal part of ilium. It's located just medially from sickle. Actually, when you will divide this line on three parts, я вам навіть намалюю. And put the uh, horizontal line from this point ta? between the external and medial. So it will be the projection of terminal part of you. You have to put your fingers perpendicular to the span, make skin fold up and slide. Which 
Terminal, terminal part. Terminal part. It's like the extra knife, small um, string. Alex, string. String. Yeah, yeah. Broken string. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> till one centimeter in diameter. But sometimes you can find it. Then ascending and descending colon. You have uh, remember that it's by manual for patient. The left hand is put on the back of the patient, opposite to the projection. Much it like the spine is vertical, so the fingers are located perpendicular to it, just at the external edge of rectus abdominis muscles. And troshki medial. Much it makes skin fold medially and slide. Like that. And descending colon the same. Move your left hand on the left part, but skin fold is made medially. You have to penetrate and slide. Ne bolno? Don't afraid to penetrate during, but it should be made in relaxation of abdominal muscles and at expiration. We change to this because it's hard to perform everything. Dali, transverse colon. To check transverse colon, first you have to find it. Lower border of the stomach. Yeah, you have to find lower border of stomach. You have to oh, take stethoscope. It's a stethoscope. You have to put it yeah. in at the xiphoid process and scratch the skin from the navel upward at the zone where the sound become louder. It's the lower border of the stomach. For example, it's like that. So, when you will palpate transverse colon, you will put your fingers two centimeters below this border, and when you will palpate stomach, two centimeters above. I don't want to get on the wall, so try it yourself. If you want to. No, no. I just guessed it. So here. <coughs> Попробуйте потім, там відчути різко зразу зробити. Значить, so, for transverse colon, put fingers two centimeters below this zone at the external edge of rectus abdominis muscle, make skin fold downward, penetrate and slide upward. You will slide from the upper edge of this testone. When you find it, you can move fingers medially, laterally and palpate it along all this part. Так? Then, palpation of stomach with the right hand, you will put it two centimeters above this region, make skin fold upward, тобто напаки, vice versa, and slide downward. Normally, you can find you, the abdominal wall will not so yield against your fingers, but when stomach is enlarged, you will feel you slide from the lower stomach wall. Зрозуміли? Ну і лишилася печінка селезінка. Як по-польськи? Шлядзьона. Ну. Так. Вонпроба. Вонпроба. Вонпроба печінка. Утроба – це по-російськи взагалі всі органи черги. Так. Before the palpation of a liver is made along the mid-clavicular line. But you have to first find the lower liver body to put the uh, arm in the proper zone. So from the navel, just below the navel, you have to start percussion upward till the intercostal till the costal arch. Так? So normally the liver is located at the costal arch, so you, you will hear tympanic sound. It means that you should put your fingers just below the costal arch. When you will find dullness, so you have to put your fingers just below the zone of dullness. Then, the <clears throat> legs should be slightly bandaged. The left hand presses to the costal arch for limitation of respiratory movements. Then liver will be moved more lower. Так. Jamal, can you see? Use uh, patient's respiratory movements. Так. Значит, the fingers are put perpendicular to the costal arch. You have to ask him to breathe deeply. May skin fall down and penetrate inside and put your fingers just to be covered with costal arch. Трошки зайти вперед. Значит, down and slightly forward. 
Then, when he will inhale, inhale this, fingers will be passively moved together with the abdominal wall. And when liver is located here, you will feel the edge like you slide from it. Раз, два. And repeat again. Synchronously with respiratory movements. Зрозуміло? Значить, не бійтеся заглиблюватися, тільки ногті трошки посвідчити. Так, сплін. The same, but you have to put the patient in proper position. Ви знаєте, так? For palpation of spleen, patient should be lying on the right side. Так, this leg should be crossed. And the hand crossed again. Let's try it. Let's show us, please. This leg should be straight and this leg bent. На паки. Ота. І оця рука. It's for good relaxation. Principle of palpation is the same. With the left hand we press to the chest, to the costal arch, but the fingers are put perpendicular to the costal arch, just below it. Make skin fall down. And during expiration, move it forward below the costal arch. But normally we can't take palpation. Yeah, you can go in normal, it's called like empty costal arch, that space is empty. When the spleen is enlarged, you will meet it with your fingers during inspiration. Thank you, let's go back to the show. Так, and percussive instruments, this is what they know the most. Concerning to liver, there are two methods of percussion. The first method, Abrastov's method, is the termination of lower liver body position along topographical lines. It takes information about the position of lower body, but it may be not due to enlargement, but due to displacement. So we just determine the lower liver body Along anterior axillary, parasternal, uh, midcavicular, parasternal, median line, and along the left costal arch. Prosto. Uh, in the same way, you have to put proximeter perpendicular to the body, uh, approximately the navel level, and move it upwards till down. And the mark is put from the lower the position, the lower edge. The same mid clavicular. And put the mark. Then parasternal line. Median line. Put stomach ale bamboo. That's why sometimes you need more weak. And the left costal arch. Fleximeter is put perpendicular to the costal arch. Normally, at the anterior auxiliary line, it should be tense rib. Тобто воно заходить ще за реберну. At the mid-clavicular, at the costal arch. And all along these lines, 2-3 cm lower from costal arch, parasternal line. Here, 2-3 cm lower from xifoid process. And here also, 2-3 cm to xifoid process. Це по образцову. По образцову вам буде проперекутувати печінку по якійсь одній з ліній. Просто показати, що ви ставите палець, прикутуєте, знати норму, де поставити змітку. Все. Далі. А у Курлову, так, ну так поставлені питання. Далі. By Курлов метод. You have to determine all five points and three sizes. Тобто повністю все показати. Percussion by Kurlov method means determination of both upper and lower liver borders and determination of sizes along three lines. First point is found along, first size and first two points we find along mid-clavicular line. 
First point, starting from second third interspace, we have to percuss downward till liver dullness. It will be the upper liver border at mid-clavicular line. Then, along the same line, you have to start from the navel upwards. This is first point, second point. Далее, the turn point is found by putting perpendicular to the median line. Because it's here, dullness, you can't percuss it. So we just considered so that the upper liver border is uh, horizontal, so we can put perpendicular. That is the third point. The fourth point we find as usual by percussion. And the fifth point we percuss along the left costal arch again. Fifth point. So when you connect first point with second, you receive first size. Nine third, yes, nine centimeters. Second, third point with fifth point, second size, and third point with fifth, third. Which should be nine, eight, eight, eight seven. No, так як через шлунок я там не можу точно. Там напевно менше має бути. Принцип зрозуміли? Це ви повинні показати. And the last one. Значить, буде так, або to determine the prolonged diameter, or to determine transfer diameter of spleen dots. So, for spleen dots determination, we have to find the spine. The spine is located along the tenth rib. Значить, ви можете там... Tense rib is the last rib which is connected to the costal arch. So the costal arch makes curve here at this point. You have to palpate the costal arch and find the curve here. So this is connection of tense rib to the costal arch. So you have to draw the span along this rib and percuss from clear sound to dullness. So it should be from Abdominal region along the line to dullness. Here. And from posterior axillary line back. Alexey, you want to ask us to take a list? This one, for example. It should be 6-8 cm. It's prolonged diameter for spleen. Then for transverse diameter, you have to divide uh, prolonged spine on two equal parts and put perpendicular. <coughs> so it should be perpendicular to the tenth rib, actually. Так? And percuss in the same way along this line. She started to put mark here and from opposite side. Попробуйте на комусь іншому, тому що в нього тут не буде ні в комусі. Зрозуміло, це 4-6 см, 4-6 см. That's all you need to show. And injections.